Yeah, hi, and welcome to today's video. We're gonna be talking landing pages today. We're gonna to be talking landing page design, okay? So how do you obviously design the best landing page possible for your brand or your business? We're gonna go through a checklist of everything you need to know about landing page optimization, etc., and what you need to have on your design Okay, so without further ado, let's run through the checklist uh, that you're going to need to know exactly what's going to be actually on your landing page and how to design it to get the best benefit out of it. So the first one, number one, you need to be clear and concise. Okay, so create a clear and concise page. That has basically one solution. Okay, so all your visitors will know exactly what the page has to offer when they read it okay don't make it confusing don't give them options that sort of thing clear and concise okay so number two is easy to understand so don't over complicate the content okay now the way you can uh, do this is actually test it is to actually give it to a friend or a family member and do a five second test on your page and ask this friend or family member to basically look at your page for just five seconds and then ask them two simple questions okay what was the page about and what did you want them to do on the page okay so if they can't answer those in the first five seconds then you need to adjust your page okay uh, but if they answer that then you should have a hit on your hands. So number three in the list, okay, write a compelling headline, okay? So you need to uh, create a compelling, benefit-driven, keyword-rich headline that gra grabs your reader's attention and stops them right in their tracks. So they want to know more and read on. Also, uh, number four is a call to action. OK, so tell your visitors exactly what you want them to do. OK, so example of this is uh, if you want them to receive an amazing gift, then please, uh, if you want to receive this amazing gift, then please fill in your details in the boxes below and then click the button. OK, so if you have all of this information above the fold on a desktop in other words uh, you can see uh, sign up without having to scroll down the page so that is even better have the call to action of what they call above the fold so number five in this optimization checklist is bullet points okay so use bullet points to display the benefits of this freebie you're giving away don't get this confused with uh, features uh, people buy through emotion okay so by showing them how they will benefit will always uh, drive conversions up now, number six in the list is a button color, okay? Now, use contrasting colors for your call to action uh, button, okay? This will make the button stand out and it can um, and it make the visitor more likely want to click it, okay? So test various colors, uh, but I've always found that either red or yellow are possibly the best colors that uh, can improve clicks. So not only the uh, the button, but number seven is the button text itself, okay? So stray away from boring button texts such as click here, sign up. You need to make it more personal and inviting, okay? So something like, yes, please, where do I start? That is subconsciously means the visitor is agreeing to start. Or yes, please, uh, send me my PDF. So they definitely want, they are agreeing for you to send them that PDF. Now, another thing you need to do on your landing page is a limit navigation. So this is number eight. OK, so try not to have too much navigation on the page. Ideally, have some li important links at the foot of the page, such as terms of conditions and that sort of thing. Uh, but don't have any menu or anything on the actual top of the page. So in other words, make it completely void of any other links that they can go to and then leave them, leave it certainly clear about obviously what you want them to do. This will then stop in them uh, clicking other things and going off the page. So number nine, so is scarcity tactics. I say by alluding to scarcity, uh, of time ending soon or quantities such as only three left 
Uh, this, this can work really well and get people to register their details. Beware though, uh, this may not work in every niche, so it should be tested thoroughly uh, before using this. Okay, so number 10 uh, is use visual clues, okay? So visual clues such as arrows or highlighted boxes uh, to uh, tend to give the visitor help and guide them to where the opt-in box is. The danger can be that this overpowers everything else on the page, so uh, obviously takes, an, which can take focus away from people taking action. So it should enhance and guide people through the process, giving them their gift. So number 11 in this checklist, images and videos. Okay, so the next feature will definitely need some testing as results can vary dramatically. Okay, so but by adding either images or videos is certainly worth looking into. So again, that is something you can do. So an image of your actual PDF or, or ebook or whatever, or if you're giving away something that needs a little bit more detail, explanation, then obviously a video, could work but again like I say testing is paramount on those so number 12 in this list uh, limit the sign up fields okay so limiting the amount of information you ask for uh, and is always a great way so the, the more you can obviously limit this the more chances of people obviously giving you that information the most common uh, info to give is obviously your name and an email address now this again will vary depending on what offer you're actually giving away uh, if it's a physical product you might actually need their address as well but what i would do is uh, actually uh, keep it as a name and email on the front page and then on a thank you page get them then to uh, another button to sign up uh, with all their other details that you're going to need so that way at least you capture their name and email first okay so number 13 yes we're nearly there guys uh, 13 is branding okay so keep the look and feel of your landing pages very similar to your website now if you haven't got a website and you're just doing standalone landing pages then obviously this doesn't worry matter too much but what i would also do is uh, uh, if you're actually doing ads on uh, social media things like that so then keep the colors very similar keep the wording and the typeface similar so when they actually come from the advert to the landing page it's all going to obviously exactly the same so they're going to know that they're actually in the right place uh, and they've come through to the right uh, page to sign up so another one is social sharing okay because some people will land on your page and they'll possibly think oh this is great they'll sign up and they could actually then go and share your page to facebook twitter uh, instagram etc uh, which obviously is make going to make make your landing page obviously uh, go viral have a viral effect and obviously then uh, you're going to get some free traffic to your landing page now, like I said earlier, obviously uh, keeping links uh, to a minimum is uh, obviously a, a always great. But number 15 is obviously uh, T's and C's, privacy and contact. I would have these three on the bottom of your landing page. Now, some companies, depending where you're actually, your products are sitting, uh, will actually say that they need these uh, before you can actually uh, obviously use your landing page. So uh, having uh, terms and conditions, uh, privacy policy and contact details is always a must because again, it creates that feeling of trust uh, with your visitor. Now, number 16 is testimonials. So if you wanted to uh, create a slightly longer form uh, and you needed so, so maybe your visitors might need a little bit more persuasion about actually signing up, you could add testimonials. This could be written or video form uh, underneath uh, everything and uh, in the bottom of your page. Uh, so this would just basically uh, give them even more social proof uh, that is something they need to sign up for okay because and uh, like i say video testimonials can be even more powerful than written ones okay so the final one uh, and uh, depending again uh, what you are actually uh, giving away uh, faqs you could add a frequently asked question so if it's a product or a service uh, that you offer and it's more complicated just 
than just having a few bullet points, uh, then by all means you can add a further section down below it called FAQs. And this will answer any reservations your visitor has and make it totally transparent of what you are actually giving away. So again, that can be really brilliant to actually add in. So I trust you found that useful and found these 17 different optimization uh, steps that you can use on every single landing pages. Now, this can vary and some of them uh, you might not need, like I said, the testimonials, frequently asked questions. But uh, so some of them may be a lot easier to actually create than others. Uh, and um, in future videos, I'm going to show you how you can obviously create these landing pages, what to, uh, and what you're going to actually tools you're going to need to be able to create these as well. So make sure you stay tuned uh, for these videos coming up shortly on our channel. OK, trust you found that useful and interesting. If you did smash up the like button for us, don't forget to watch this video next. And also, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and then you'll get notified every time we make a new video. That's it for today. We'll see you on the next video.